In this installment, we will cover what is iSCSI, basic concepts, basic loan implementation and assignment, basic iSCSI target group creation. Pause this video to take some notes if you need to. So, what is iSCSI? An iSCSI target allows you to mount data containers across networks to be managed in the same way as any disk in your computer would be managed. This includes permission sets and sharing. iSCSI makes it easy to manage your data. Your data will appear in the same way as the files that are already in your system. iSCSI provides your computer with the disk space that you need without any additional hardware. Let's get started. Key concepts. A disk is a device used to record and store data blocks using magnetic, optical, mechanical, or electronic means. A volume is the total number of blocks in a container. A volume can span multiple disks, and more than one volume can partition a disk into several containers. And finally, a file. File is the way an operating system organizes data blocks under a name. Data blocks must be formatted to suit the operating system's file system. The Internet Small Computer Systems Interface is a standard that links data blocks over networks using TCP IP. iSCSI protocols send commands from a client, known as an initiator, to a target storage device. The target is also known as a group. The storage device offers raw blocks for storage and does not in any way control the client's file system. The storage device creates a file nested on its own file system in order to allocate the raw data blocks for the client. These nested files are called LUNs, logical unit number. Thick LUNs reserve data blocks all at once while thin LUNs progressively reserve data blocks as needed. iSCSI target basic configuration. Log into your readiness and click on iSCSI. iSCSI reserves data blocks by indexing them inside a LUN. Let's create one. Give the LUN an appropriate name. In this case, we're going to call it footage. And also, you must determine the capacity of the LUN. In this case, we're going to give it 100, um, 100 megabytes will store about 24 songs. 100 gigabytes will store about 2,400 songs, while 100 terabytes will store about 240,000 songs. I only need 100 gigabytes for this project. Click on Create. This is the iSCSI LUN we created. It must be assigned to a group before it can be used. The group will provide it with an iSCSI qualified name. The IQN is required for enabling a persistent connection to your computer. To create a group, just click on the New Group button. The LUN group is what makes possible mounting LUNs to your computer as if they were hard drives. Give it a name. Because we're going to be doing film on this, let's call it Film. This is the LUN group we made, also known as an iSCSI target. The LUN needs to be assigned to this target. Doing it is very easy. Just click on it. Select Assign. Select the group you want to assign it to and click Apply. The default security settings will not allow for any connections to be accepted. To fix that, click on Properties. Then, under Allowed Initiators, select Any. Later on, we'll show you how to make secure connections. For now, just click Apply. Here we can see that all clients will be allowed to connect. Let's very quickly make one more LUN, 100 gigabytes also. So, let's go to New LUN. Let's give it a name, in this case, Sounds. Let's also select 100 gigabytes and click Create. We are going to leave the LUN sounds unassigned for now. We will use it in a future video. 
And that's how easy it is to create a nice CASI LUN and a nice CASI target on the readiness. On the next installment, we are going to demonstrate how to initialize and format the LUN on a PC. For this and other topics, please go to community.netgear.com.